Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people of the tube. Hope you're well, hope you're feeling great today. It's the new symbol for feeling great today. Excuse me. Today is video six. Yes, that's six. I knew it went like that. It's not that yet. That's uh, probably next week. Haha. <laughs> video six of how many tones can you get out of one amp? And today we're doing, from the title, as you can probably guess, Mr. Eric Johnson. Um, for this video, I was using the CR120. But guitar-wise, I'm using my Vintage V6 Icon. Uh, main reason for this is uh, Maple Neck. Um, and also, the back pickup has the bottom tone wired into it, so I can get an even darker Eric Johnson kind of sound. And uh, that is kind of an important thing to kind of go for that Eric Johnson sound, because all his guitars have the bottom tone wired into that back pickup, so he can darken it down when he does his, uh, uh, his main kind of lead sound. That's how he gets his kind of like real dark warm violin-y kind of sound, so to say. Uh, so that's that. Um, just uh, box standard uh, Wilkinson single coils, nothing, you know, nothing like, you know, uber expensive in this guitar. It's all stock, isn't it? You know, it's not it's not a thousand pound guitar or anything. So uh, that's what I'm using guitar-wise. Uh, just quick talk about what Eric Johnson's sounds are and what I've got from the Orange. Eric Johnson's kind of sound is boiled down to like three main sounds. You've got a clean sound, a dirty rhythm sound, and a lead tone. And uh, what I've done is I've gone for his clean sound and his lead tone, which are kind of like his main kind of sounds. Um, so uh, for the clean tone, what he uses, he uses a, a pair of uh, Fender Twin amps, uh, either um, running, uh, running in like show, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, Bandmaster head kind of uh, boxes through uh, Marshall cabs with uh, JBL speakers, I think. I don't I don't, don't quote me. Uh, or he uses just the, the box standard uh, combo, um, and he runs them in stereo, so they, it has a stereo sound, uh, chorusing stereo sound all the time because he runs it for a chorus pedal. So, uh, and obviously I can't get that chorusing sound because I'm not allowed to use pedals, but I do feel I've got a pretty close approximation without that. Uh, he also runs uh, Echo Plexes uh, on that. Um, I don't know if he still runs two. Uh, I did hear he want, runs one. I've seen a video of him just running one now with a Deluxe Memory Man and a DD3 delay, Boss did a delay. Uh, his rhythm tone is a Marshall Plexi amp uh, or style amp. I've seen him with other things other than Marshall. Just basically cranked to the teeth, and on that kind of dirty room tone, he has he can run his fuzz face on there to give him that kind of that kind of honky fuzzy uh, tone that he's got. Um, and then uh, he also has a tube screamer on that loop, and also like a, a uh, recent I saw him with a, a Barracuda uh, flange pedal on there as well. Uh, and then his lead tone is a uh, 100 watt Marshall or 50 watt Marshall cranked to the teeth again, uh, both channels jumpered. Uh, into an Echoplex and a BK Butler tube driver, which is a very kind of um, it's a very very kind of widely used pedal. Like you know, Dave Gilmore uses it, and there's quite a few other people who use those pedals, and they're very very distinctive kind of sounding pedals. Um, so that's kind of like his kind of three main tones, and so I've gone for his main ones, which is kind of like his his uh, his clean tone, which he's used a lot, and he's kind of like a lead kind of tone, a really dark uh, lead tone. And I say that's the reason for the. Um, the back pickup tone to be rolled off, and that's how I'll get to that in a minute when I, when I start playing. But uh, so yeah, that's kind of what he uses. Uh, I, I say that's what I'm kind of going for in this one. I'm, I'm skipping over kind of his his kind of fuzz tone because it kind of it kind of goes hand in hand with his lead tone. It's a different tonality, but kind of not really um, in a way, so to say. I mean, um, obviously, you know, we've uh, just pulled straight in. Um, so yeah, let me show you the EQ. Oh, and also yeah, another thing, just a note on the on the amp. I'll, 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 I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute anyway. Right. Okay. So let me show you the EQ on the amplifier. Okay. So CR120 clean channel. What have I done? Uh, volume is on ten. Bass and treble are on four. And that again gives me a close approximation of Mr. Johnson's uh, kind of clean tone. Kind of is 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 a chorus is chorus Fender Twin. Uh, stereo cell. So moving along to the dirty channel, uh, what we got here is gain is on eight, bass is on five, and middle and treble are off to get it as dark as possible. Um, volume is up on ten. Uh, lots of reverb to simulate his uh, delay pedals. So it's up on seven that, and I'm using the spring reverb usual and usual master volume is on two. 
So that, that's the kind of settings I'm using. So um, I say a lot of bass on the Dirty Channel just to kind of fatten that, uh, that distortion up and make it as dark as uh, I can. And I say I'm using the uh, tone pot on the guitar as well to even make it even darker. So, so yeah, they're the clean tones. Uh, that's the clean tone. That's the dirty tone. That's the kind of simulated reverb delay. Because uh, his sound is very kind of spacey kind of sound. It's very, very nice kind of... Um, a lot of echo and a really cool sound. So that's what I'm using there. So let me show you what it sounds like. Clean channel first. Okay, so clean sound. Uh, as I say, you've seen the EQ, so this is what it sounds like. This is the uh, back pickup. Uh, tones and volumes are all the way up. This is just the uh, back single coil pickup. <laughs> without the chorusing kind of sound which is kind of gives it that main tonality uh, because so when you do hear his clean tone it is really kind of obvious it's a, it's a really kind of it's a chorus pedal on there all the time but I feel that's really close <laughs> clean guitar tone as well you make a mistake and you are going to hear it like if you hit a wrong note it, it, st it does stick out like a sore thumb so yeah you really got to be on it and uh he always is he's yeah he's, his dexterity on the guitar is unbelievable <laughs> Turn the tone down a bit, you can darken it up a bit. Yeah. I thought that's really close to so say, let me know what you think. So let's do that. Let's move on to Overdrive, kind of lead Eric Johnson world, where it's like really, really kind of like warm, dark sound. So let's do that now. Okay, so lead tone, Eric Johnson lead tone. I so say this is, I've gone for the kind of uh, the Marshall Plexi, Echo Plex, BK Butler kind of sound. His, his main lead sound, which is really dark. Uh, what I've done on the guitar, just let you know, uh, well, I'll show you actually, see if it, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Uh, the tone control. Say it's kind of awkward. My, fa my camera doesn't auto focus, but uh, that's where it is normally. And what I've got to do, I've turned it down. It's kind of like halfway. So to the tone writing is the right way up. So it's kind of halfway down. I say this gives me an ex extra bit of added kind of darkness on the uh, on the lead kind of sound. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank 
It's a lovely sound. I say, with the tone rolled up all the way, it gives you this kind of sound. So it's still a really kind of nice kind of sound. It still counts, kind of sounds better in John's thing. It still has that kind of tonality, but it's not uh, it's not dark enough. So I say, turn that down to halfway. Really good. Really, really, really cool. And I say, if you do turn the volume down to about about four, quite bassy, but it's kind of do you a kind of like a, uh, a kind of uh, dirty room kind of sound. And I say you can hear the reverb splash around, a lot of reverb really gives it a lot of uh, depth. Really cool. I say, let me know what you think, let me know. Uh, to me, that sounds really close, and I say, it sounds as close as I can kind of get again, like I say, with all videos, without actually being that person. But uh, that's a really cool sound, I love it. I say, it really, I mean, that distortion sound is so fat, it really is so fat. Play it all day, it doesn't, it's, it's a really, really pleasant sound to play, and I say, the clean sound as well, just going back to that quick. It, that's a really pleasant sound as well. It's a really kind of a real kind of nice setting this is. So yeah, really cool. Anyway, I will see you again on a uh, next video. Have a great day, good evening and afternoon, and I will see you again. Goodbye now.